Listen, rest in peace, Pimp C, right? I was watching a documentary on him a minute ago, a new one where they saying that somebody, his relative came out and said that he was murdered. You know, that's been a thing, right? That he is murdered. Now, like I said, I'm not one to really, you know, believe in conspiracy theories, but I also know where smoke is fire. And a lot of conspiracy theories out here now, I'm starting to really look into because when the government gets up and says, hey, there are really UFOs out here. There are other beings from another planet. The government got up and said this shit, right? Then they talk around and say, it's actually some shit called time travel. They showing where the Mike Tyson fight, where it was a dude with it, his fight. And Mike Tyson was like, damn, no, that's real. You know what I'm saying? That's a real picture. It's not Photoshop. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, what What do you believe in this world? Like, like anything is possible. Like, but you got to watch these movies, right? Most movies is based off truth. I don't care how scary or how far-fetched far the movie is. Even my man in that shit, he said, look at the movies. He like, nigga, anytime you get where the aliens took over or, or zombie apocalypse, we thought that shit was so far-fetched, but it's actually people that are spending millions upon millions of dollars to put underground bunkers in place and to buy firearms and food because they believe it. And then we look at it now that come to be, it. that could be. They got shit now that could... That actually could come to fruition. You know what I'm saying? So you got to really watch this TV and take in and, and be careful. You know, and, I, and I'm going, I'm, I'm talking, I'm talking, I know some people will think I'm crazy. Like, what the fuck is he talking about? But I really believe that a lot of these stars are being murdered. I mean, I truly do. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, this Tupac shit not making sense. It's not making sense. I think Keefe D, the fall guy, he, I don't think he's going to live long. There's no way he should go to jail. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You let this man go for 30 years. See, people are not logical. You let him go for 30 years, even if he did kill Tupac, even if he was the one, he told you this already. So I don't understand. I'm, I'm going to get back to Pimp C, but I'm just saying how the conspiracy shit he is out here. You know what I'm saying? Listen, man, I just want y'all to picture this. Today's time. Drake came to your city, right? He coming out of wherever. On the street somewhere, a strip on the vac same place Tupac had Drake. Cause Tupac was Biggie was the Drake and Lil Wayne or Drake and whoever then, right? So you gotta think about it. Drake on the strip. He got he got bodyguards and shit everywhere. What man, street nigga in his right mind gonna pull up on the number one gangster in the world, right? The number one record company, the number one artist in the world. Knowing all this traffic, knowing how many people screaming his name, the nigga said, I heard them screaming Tupac name. So therefore, you knew it was a lot of witnesses and eyes was on him. So you're going to turn around on a Vegas strip, crowd as it can be. You shoot and kill this man in front of everybody and actually get away with it. With no security following you, no police being able to, and it took all them years before he, it did the same thing with Big. Big sitting in a crowded area, security everywhere. Like, even if I was a professional fucking hitman, and I was a, even if I was just a scandalous ass nigga out here, like, fuck it, I'm gonna I'm I'm crash out. How, how did he make it? How? Even if he wanted to just crash out and throw his life away and say, fuck it, I get the money to my family, I'm about to go take this dude out in front of everybody. He wouldn't go make it out of there. He was gonna die right there or get arrested. How can you get past all the stop cars that's looking and you know what I'm saying? You had to have a, a getaway was already set up for you. See, people not understanding it. And Keefe D, for them to come back and everybody, Vlad and all these cocksuckers, talking about something, I solved Tupac's murder. How in the fuck did you... Nigga, Keefe D saying the same shit. A lot of people must didn't see this tape because... I'm telling you, a lot of people didn't see this shit back in like whatever, 12, 13, 2008. Wherever that fucking video came out that that police put out, I, I, people cannot have seen it. Because when I seen it, I'm like, well, how the fuck Puffy ain't went to jail yet? That's why when Shield was talking that shit, like, well, shit, you see ain't nobody got arrested for the Tupac murder. He's still alive. He taunting the police. He fucking with him. But he also turned around and said, hey, when you catch the, the person that killed Tupac, you, catch, you caught both killers. When you caught when you caught the killer of one, you caught the killer of both. Suge, no. And so him being the only witness alive that can testify about anything that happened that night, y'all can't come up with no evidence. How, how can this man be convicted? 
Tell me how. If Shug, the only witness that can say, and he said that this nigga didn't do it. How can any witness off the corner or camera? Y'all didn't have a camera footage. That's that's gonna look fucked up. How you gonna bring a camera footage? 30 years later, you just not getting somebody with a camera to come up. All this AI technology, you think that shit gonna stand in court? And if Suge not saying it, man, let this man live his life freely, man. You know, it's the streets, my nigga. And I, and I hate when street motherfuckers tell me, oh, he need to be locked up. How in the fuck, dog? You leave the streets in the streets. When you play that game, when he went and put his hands on that motherfucking gangbanger, bro, you playing real life shit and real life shit happened to you. This is not a movie, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I love Tupac. Favorite rapper up to today. You know what I'm saying? That's just real nigga shit. Now, get to... Okay, we got the Tupacs, you know what I'm saying? Then you get to, like, uh, the Prince, Prince dying, Michael Jackson dying, all our actors. Look, what do they all got in common besides the Tupac shit, right? And it's not just blacks, it's whites, too, but they killing all our icons. And first thing they say, like my man said, it's a drug overdose. People you never suspected that was on drugs, all of a sudden they fucking dope fiends. Prince, die from an overdose. And, and then most of these people die where? Alone. Most of the people, like they say, they die alone in hotel rooms. Look how many um, artists just die in a hotel room by yourself. So you, want, you it, it, it don't make sense. So I really do believe some of this shit. Because... You got to think, man. You got to set the way for new blood, number one. Number two, people get to talking too much. Now, you might not have said shit publicly, but you said shit behind closed doors and it's getting to the right ears. Oh, well, if he told you this, you know what I'm saying? And this motherfucker went off and ran this mouth. Suppose you fuck around to tell the wrong person or tell the public. Once you tell one person something, that's too many. You don't know who you talking to, this Illuminati shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? You will fuck around and get high one night and say, hey, man, you know... This will really happen. You know, you think this your closest dog in the industry. Oh, he might not be the one to go back, but he'll fuck around and tell somebody. You know, don't tell. And then they looking like, oh, for real? They got to the wrong people. Well, first thing they thinking is shit. If he tell that, how, that's a secret. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to think these motherfuckers, gonna, they not going to say, hey, I'm going to tell you this. Don't never tell nobody. You just don't supposed to tell. They can make up a lie about some shit. And if it ever get back to them, it's the only place it could have came from is you. You know what I'm saying? They tell people that, look, only one person can know this. I'm just telling you how to go. And if this shit gets back, get rid of him. He talk too much. You talk too much. Half these motherfuckers killed themselves joining up shit. Because, look, man, there's no doubt that this shit is all set in stage. When I see these little bitches rapping, man, what's the motherfuckers? The fucking sexy reds. This shit is straight garbage. It's entertaining, but it's garbage, my nigga. Like, that shit is straight garbage, my dog. Look at the message in it, right? You know what I'm saying? It's it's, it's just retarded that they put this shit out here. So, they, this shit is strategically put there to fuck us over. There's no doubt. You know what I'm saying? You know? And so, that's the type of people they want. They don't want nobody raising awareness or, you know what I'm saying? And I and I don't never want to sound like no old ass nigga. Like I never been in the streets. But I tell people all the time. I tell motherfuckers all the time, like, listen, dog. I'm, I'm, I didn't done it, dog. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, see, I just lost my thought. But yeah, I never, um, I'm not that goddamn old. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to feel old talking to young people. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, okay, I don't, I don't understand your music. But that's how it was when I was coming up. Oh, no, this is all I'm about to say. People always talking about, hey, it wasn't like that when I was coming up. It was like this, this, and this. I'm like, well, we, we, we the same age, right? So when did you come up? Fuck you mean it wasn't like this? When I was coming up, it was the murder. It was just as bad as this, if not worse, when I was coming up. What are you talking about? It was, it was all type of dope. It was worse because all it was way more dope on the street. Niggas was getting killed left and right, carjacked more schools was up kid it was shooting listen man we are the only people on earth on earth dog listen man we so how can we even be immune to some shit seeing some shit like what we going through 
Like if a person looking from somewhere else, they that's why people, white people pay to come to the hood because it's like they come into a movie. Like this is where all the shootings go down and carjackings and it's like we we entertainment for these motherfuckers. Like I'm being honest with you. Like dog, the shit that goes on in the city, dog, you, you don't, you, nigga, we got metal detectors in hospitals in the hood. Man, do you understand how fucked up that is? We actually have metal detectors in every hospital in Detroit, Michigan down there. Then you got fucking metal detectors in schools. Kids going to schools with fucking metal detectors. And not for no goddamn mass shooter and all that shit. It's just because it was so bad, dog, that the, the gang, the drugs and these fake ass gangs in Detroit, not a gang city. But they want to mock what they see on TV. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing. They mock it down this goddamn hair, bro. They want to mock what they seeing on TV. You know what I'm saying? That's not real life shit. So I came through the, through some shit too. Like it ain't, you know what I'm saying? And even before me, the niggas who grew up in the 70s and 80s, how can you tell me it wasn't like that in the 70s and 80s when in the 80s, the, 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 the murder rate was down there triple or quadruple what it is now. Crack had first just hit. You telling me all them fully automatic weapons was out there? They didn't stop making fully automatic weapons uh, to the public until 1994 when Clinton signed that bill. You know what I'm saying? You got to think. You used to go into a pawn shop and buy a fully automatic Uzi or fully automatic AK. It didn't stop until 1994. So you know what I'm saying? This ain't no new fucking problem. That's why I don't understand why is it going on so long like this. And so to get back to what I was saying, to circle all the way back around to the Pimp C shit, uh, yeah, do I believe he could have had somebody could have killed him? I mean, but, but you know, it's, it's I don't think the government did it. I don't think Pimp C was big enough for the government to look into him. You know what I'm saying? But did a motherfucker slip him something or give him something? I do believe. You know, who knows how far that fentanyl shit go back? You know what I'm saying? That shit could have been on the streets, but it just didn't get popular to the last, whatever, 10 years or whatever, right? Who knows? We don't know. They weren't even testing for that shit then. So you know what I'm saying? So, you know, ain't no telling, man. But the thing was, everybody know Pimp C was getting high. So we look at it like, hey, yeah, you can say what you want to say. It look a little fishy, but how can you ever prove it? And then, like I tell people, you got to watch who you accuse of shit. You accuse somebody of something and you put their name out here, they can sue the fuck out you. You know what I'm saying? You just can't put no shit like that on nobody. You know what I'm saying? That's you fucking with his safety. Suppose he didn't do it. Suppose Pimp C did die, just die of a heart attack or something. Because, nigga, when you fucking with that lean and shit, we know that shit kills you. You know what I'm saying? You fuck with, you know, all type of other drugs, but I think they, that's what they do. They get these motherfuckers hooked on drugs, and when it's their time to go, it's an easy fix. Make it look like an overdose. You know what I'm saying? But talking too much I get you. That's the worst drug. That's the worst bullet you can get is running your fucking mouth too much. That should have put you in the dirt quicker than anything in this world, my dog. You know what I'm saying? Um... Oh, we got to be real careful, man. Man, when I look at our elite, so, you know, it's black, it's a black man, right? I look at um, elite actors and actresses. Look, man, Michael Jackson is dead. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Michael Jackson is gone. Can you believe that Whitney Houston is gone? Prince is gone. You know what I'm saying? Just think about all that shit, man. You know, but it's not... And I'm not even going to put it on the right. Only reason I'm saying black is because like, like our biggest stars are was pretty much being eradicated. You know what I'm saying? It's happening to the whites too, the higher up. It's happening. Shit, look at her. What's her, what's her name? Her son uh, died from, a, uh, killed herself or died from overdose. Then she just died or killed herself. Man, I was sad as fuck. When she died, I cried like a motherfucker. What's her name? She mind me of Marilyn Monroe. I can't damn, dog. I used to follow her all the time. You know what I'm saying? You know, back before follow her, I used to watch her on TV all the time. And I remember she was just sad when her um, son died. And then that shit happened. Um, but there's some shit going on out here, man. We got to get it together. And, um, yeah, this shit is a bad setup, man. Like I say, that Tupac Biggie shit is is crazy. It's like if you're not if if you're not if you're not if you're not doing what they say you do. And listen to me. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you another thing. Look at the billionaires we got. Look at Oprah. Look at uh, Jay Z. Look at Dr. Dre. Look at all these guys. What the fuck do they do for us? I, tell tell me. What do they do or even say do for black people? Now look. Now you had Jay Z right. 
And this will piss me off. So you had Jay-Z. And what's the dude name I just... Oh, yeah, the Colin Kaepernick, nigga. So you got Jay-Z. Colin Kaepernick trying to take a kneel for this, this, this. He think he doing the right thing for black people. Jay-Z was like, nigga, fuck this nigga. Jay-Z was like, man, fuck this motherfucker. He do a party at the Super Bowl. Like, shit, I'm fucking with him. Like, it's just... I mean, you know, you're supposed to stand with your brothers if you feel as though they're right. You know it's racism in this shit. I ain't say you had to go all the way in, but you should at least get your opinion, at least back the nigga a little bit. God damn. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I, I just don't get it. It's like Oprah. She helping everybody but where she come from, my dog. You know what I'm saying? And listen, I don't want to hear about shit that they do behind closed doors. Don't tell me that they don't got to talk about everything they do. Get the fuck out of here. Why not? You talk about every when you do shit for everybody the fuck else, so you can't tell me you. That's what we need people to do shit from where they come from, and talk about it. So that makes other people want to do these things. Man, listen, man, this shit that we going through right now can be turned around within a year. It can. I'm telling you, nigga. It can. It, this shit that we going through can be turned around. It's not. It's not a hard fix. We just got to get a lot of celebrities, a lot of people that these kids watching, and get them together you understand what i'm saying and start putting out a more positive message man you know i seen a little five or eight year old rapping what's his name this nigga talking about shooting niggas in the face and all man it's just it's just dog god damn what made that shit so cool though like what made in our culture the worst shit in the world popular you know what i'm saying like everything that's bad is good to us if it's supposed to be good, it's bad. Like, college is bad. Having a wife and being faithful and having kids and a family is bad. Like, it's just, it's just fucked up. Now it's just like, dog. Like, when you look at a, listen, a woman's value is so far down right now that it's unbelievable. Like, when you look at everything you turn on Instagram, it's like, who, who get you fucking everybody? Like, a bitch go on the TV and be like, yeah, well, you know, I just talk about how many dicks she done sucked and how she do it and like what who the fuck it's just it just takes the value away right it's like nigga if everybody got a goddamn bentley right now in, in detroit you got you see a hundred of these bitches a day you're gonna be like what the fuck do i want like that's why i don't like chargers and challengers i had i was the first nigga damn near in the city with the yellow and black charger i wasn't the first i don't know who was the first because i seen it and i wanted one but it was only five around here and at the time that i bought that yellow and black charger in the state, I think. You know what I'm saying? And it was cool then. I didn't like Chargers then. I bought it for the color, right? I was like, should I get an Escalade, a fucking Range Rover, or what can I get to stand, you know what I'm saying, to kind of stand out that I ain't got to pay over $100,000 for, you know what I'm saying? So, shit, I said, dog, you see Escalades a lot. I see the, uh, you know, I really went to Ben's guy at the time. I know, I, you know, but now I like that band. Ever since I rented that 580 AMG, I love that motherfucker. That band is what's happening, you know what I'm saying? Um, but at that time, I wouldn't got that motherfucking uh, charge. But anyway, that's here. I'm, 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 see how my mind is, though? I'm rambling off. But the whole point is, why, why, why would I want something that everybody got or that had? You know what I'm saying? You always want to be different. That's the thing, you know what I'm saying? And, um... That shit like a car. The more people that did rode that motherfucker, the less it's worth. You feel me? That's how I feel. And no disrespect to women. Women, I love you. You know what I'm saying? I'm just talking about all this, this pussy popping, the whore shit that's going on, that all these women, and then they really, they just doing some shit for attention. You know what I'm saying? And it's just, this corrupting this, man. All this YouTube, this, because let me tell you how fucked up this shit is that I'm on talking to you through. Let me tell you how fucked up this shit is, right? I told you. I, it's a lady on there that's talking about kids, right? She's talking about she was giving all the gay kids treats. If they said they wanted to be gay or bisexual or trans when they got older, she'd give them treats. The, the, this actually came out of bitch's mouth. So now she said the straight boy, I said, I want to be straight. Like, you know what I'm saying? The, he, she wouldn't give him a treat. It's real talk. Look it up. Look it up on my TikTok page. Trap Talk Blue uh, TikTok and look it up what she talking about. I just did a side by side. What you call it, a duet? But when I did the one that you do after and I'm talking, so I just sit down and I start talking. Like, listen, man, this is the type of shit that goes on, yada, yada, yada. And I wasn't cussing and being disrespectful or none of that because I already know how TikTok is. Dog, do you know they struck me for that shit? Just because I said that that's wrong for her to do that. They got me for hate speech. You cannot say nothing about 
them, but 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 listen though. But with us, we can say nigga all day long. As long as we bashing each other, you can put all the gay stuff up about black people. You can put all the shootings on here, all what you want. It's cool, dog. But they mute you when you say anything that's of you know what I'm saying of substance. We are being controlled by this. They only want to push the negative. I'm telling you, this shit. This oh shit. This shit is just straight up. It's 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 it's, it's bluntly a racist and it's bluntly uh against us. It's not for us. None of this shit. But it's our only way, our only outlet to kind of get a decent message through. And I noticed, how do I go from getting? I only had a thousand. 800 subscribers or some shit like that a thousand i was getting 15 20 000 views at a time then so now i got what four thousand subscribers or whatever nigga after i after i got struck the last two times not one video since these strikes damn they came off the two coming off now they gone now almost struck out do you know my shit doing 100 200 at a time. Now listen, bro. Every now and then, I'm going to knock one out three, four thousand views. You know what I'm saying? Because I only got four thousand followers. So how can I expect? You know what I'm saying? I know I'm talking some real shit. So sometimes I start to doubt myself like, damn. But then I look at all my shit do that, though. Like when one do it, the other one do it. Like they, they, like two TikTok, the same thing. You know what I'm saying? I should have been at 10,000 subscribers on TikTok. You know what I'm saying? My shit just shot up there. As long as I'm talking some dumb shit. It's going through the roof. When I start talking about that unity shit, let's get this shit together, let's do this, it's down. Like, like, like. listen, I've been talking about the, uh, I, been, I didn't call the news over five times. Right? When I think about it, I said three because I had called three. That was three times I called the news just yesterday. I called them more than two times during a week trying to get an interview with somebody because the dogs killed this little boy, right? The police killed the girl. You know, a while back, they killed her. I wanted to talk to him there. So I just want to talk to the police about, I'm going to do my part. Because like I say, somebody on here was like, man, you know, you start this shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not an activist. I guess I am one at this point. But you know what I'm saying? So so I'm trying to get them to talk to them to do a dog-ass interview. I'm going to do the dog-ass interview they ever had. Because I'm looking like, nigga, we can do a walk, do a ride through. We, this, this, is, this is serious shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? How is it? that we're on the borderlines of all these nice places. We go over here, we buy Dearborn. You know what I'm saying? Go over here, you no, you go this way, you you die by Mexican town. Go this way, you buy Dearborn. You go to the right, you buy Southfield. You know what I'm saying? You go behind us, you know, it's just we surrounded by shit that I can just literally look across the street and it's nice than a motherfucker. Across the street, cut though. You know what I'm saying? Why is it that my community looks so horrible and theirs looks so good? What's the difference? And like the lady said, it was a white lady at the UPS job. She was, she was like, she was like, she was like, you know what? She said, I'm from the Detroit. She was like, I moved over here. She's like, it was so funny is most of the people that's on my block is actually from, she lived in Harper Woods, which is Detroit really, but the nice part. So she looked though, she said, listen, most of my neighbors are from Detroit and they keep their shit up. She said, so I don't know what's the part. You guys think they, if they so messy, then why did they take the mess out there? It's just crazy how, how, how this shit, like I'm telling you, man, just like with the Pimp C shit, people don't, won't, won't, can't fathom that somebody actually did that to them on purpose. But, you know, we know that can happen. Like with Michael Jackson, same thing like with Prince, with Whitney Houston. Like, it's some shit behind all that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? And the government need to, even if it was a mistaken overdose, you think the government shouldn't be responsible? They locking us up for the shit that they're doing. You know what I'm saying? How in the fuck you bringing all this heroin and cocaine is, all these kids dying off this shit? You already know that the prescription drug crisis caused all these deaths. You need to be writing checks to any motherfucker that been to a rehab. The government need to write fucking checks, my man. Real talk. They going to be, how the fuck, I sell a nigga a dime bag of fucking heroin right here, and he go over there and fucking OD and die, and you charge me for it. But the nigga at the liquor store can sell a motherfucker a gallon of liquor. No, he fucked up. He go out and kill four niggas, have two car accidents, kill five old people. And you think he that motherfucker at the store gonna ever get touched? You know why? Because he's not black. If he was black and more black people own stores, believe me, they'll try some way to make you responsible for the shit that's around your surroundings, right? You know what I'm saying? The same thing like with the government. The government is bringing this shit in. You know, we know for a fact that they let cocaine in here. 
And so all these people dying and you don't have no responsibility for that? This is your land, right? You're the United States of America. You pick and choose what come in and out of this motherfucker. And you know all this cocaine and heroin and deadly shit coming in here. You're not doing shit to stop it. Because if you was doing shit, how you going to have a war? How how we going to go to war with some motherfucker shit like we over there right now? And and how we going to go to war with somebody that we don't even, we don't have nothing to do with they shit. So we about to go spend billions of fucking dollars to get in some shit that has nothing to fuck to do with us. Just like when they say, well, oh, it's it, it, it's missiles over there. They That was some bullshit talking about they got nuclear missiles. You want to kill all these innocent people, bro. All the lives and families that would never be the same again because of some shit that you made up to go bully these people for some oil, right? Bam. That was terrible. Bro, karma a bad motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So you, 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 you know, that just... And then, but you can't put no money in stopping this shit. All the money, listen, man, they are bluntly putting this shit on our face like fuck us. They bluntly saying fuck you, niggas. They are bluntly saying it. It's not like they, they, dog, they, listen. It's not, they not hiding it no more. It's like, yeah, we putting this rap out. You see white people talking about it all the time. They, the, the executives are coming out like, yeah, they don't want no positive rapper. They, they go and they, they putting this out here. It's put in there to destroy us. Like the gay stuff in all the movies, the cartoons, everywhere you look at some gay. Can't even go get a bag of chips without some gay on it. They pushing the agenda, man. So if okay, if you could push the gay people, which is cool, well, that's what they want to do, all right. But okay, if you're gonna push all that, why 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 can't you do us like that? Why can't you, you know what I'm saying, push our agenda, peace, peace, unity? Why can't you, you know what I'm saying, push that shit out here? Like you pushing that. Why can't you put that in the movies? Do more positive movies about black people starting businesses and coming together. Why don't y'all push that? Why don't y'all push better music and hip hop? You know what I'm saying? Better positive, godly music. See, everybody think that the music got to be about killing for you to be a real nigga like it. Well, that's not true, man. See, it's a difference between reality rap and, and this gangster, this bullshit rap. See, reality rap, yeah, you you know, it's like these movies they putting out on Tubi. It's some movies out here, nigga, that they start off the credits rolling and niggas shooting, killing niggas all out in the street. Motherfucker gonna kill four, five. Nigga kill about 30 niggas through the whole movie. And the fuck ain't even been 30 minutes in the movie, right? Motherfuckers laid all out on the street, broad daylight. I'm like, man, this shit is so overly fake. Like, where in the world does this shit happen at, right? And so, you know, you know, but that's the type of rap some of the rap is. Like, they they so over is that. Now, nigga, I don't mind looking at some shit like a movie like uh, The Game Ain't For Everybody. Now, I like that movie. Yeah, it had violence in it. But it wasn't overly done. It was like reality. It was like if you out here rolling, there's a chance you can get robbed and this can happen. Everything in that shit, that's how you knew them boys was really getting money and they ain't about it. All these fake motherfuckers, that's how you know fake niggas that make fake movies. They not into what they doing. They over-exaggerate shit. And it's the same thing about this rapping. Man, all these motherfuckers talking this shit ain't doing it. Half this jury these motherfuckers got on. Why, why? I don't even understand at this point why even spend... Nigga, I would never put a fake piece of jewelry on my body. You know what I'm saying? I did that shit one time when I was younger. You, me, and my boy Lil Mike had a, a watch or a bracelet or some shit. We was it was funny to us. We took it as a joke. You know what I'm saying? And um, but it's like at this point, the price of that even going down. When you see every nigga rapping with a million dollars around his fucking neck. And this motherfucker just got signed. Now, nigga, this shit got around your neck. If it was all real diamonds, this shit got to be a couple million dollars you got around your neck. You know what I'm saying? I could go get a fucking 10 carat chain right now. That bitch would cost me $15,000 if it was real clear stone. So, nigga, you got 100, 200,000 carats around your neck. Nigga, even at $1,000 a carat, nigga, that's a million dollars. You know what I'm saying? A thousand fucking a hundred carats. That's a hundred thousand just for the diamond, and that's cheap. That's not. I mean, I don't want to go into this shit. I'm just rambling on and rambling, but I'm because that shit get me heated, man. Like I say, we gotta do fucking better. That's at the end of the day, we gotta do better. And yeah, oh yeah, they killing us. You know what I'm saying? Fuck yeah, they killing us. They don't want. Listen, man. Once we start sticking together, dog. And really getting our business together and coming through the hood like we supposed to and put that message out here. This shit can be changed. But we need we need help. We need some um 
You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, what can I do? I don't want, I never want to sound like that old nigga, like when I was coming up. It'd be the lame old niggas. They, they all oh, don't do this and that. And, you know, you, you still got to be cool. You know, you know what I'm saying? You still, listen, nigga, you, you, you got to be attractive to the young people. You just can't be no old ignorant motherfucker or no old lame motherfucker. You, you know what I'm saying? You know, you can't be no motherfucker that's trying to be. You got to just be like, I can be myself. I Because I hang around young people. I mean, young people hang around me, per se, because they like my character, right? So it's like, okay, shit, let's roll. Let's rock with it, nigga. Let's, dog, why, why, listen, dog. When them jail set, when them bars close on that motherfucker, I don't know why nobody ever want to go there unless you're really trying to get to some money. I did shit. I was out here faking and perpetrating. You know what I'm saying? Doing dumb shit for no reason. Playing with these guns. And I always ended up in a fucked up. And, and damn, but you got to think about it. For what? What money was I getting off that shit? Right? You know, you got to think about that shit. Nigga out here want to shoot and kill somebody for anything. They just want that image of being a gangster nigga. But when them bars close, nigga, it's a whole... Why would you want to be here? You ain't got to. What did you shoot and rob this nigga for? We doing scavengery shit. You know what I'm saying? Niggas ain't got a hustle bone in they fucking body. Nigga, how you got a fucking thousand dollar goddamn gun? Nigga got a fucking AR-15 fully loaded and they ain't got four goddamn shells in the motherfucker. Nigga, nigga at home sleeping on the fucking floor. You, that's fucked up how, how they got us out here though. Nigga, can't we, look, you will show niggas on TV with the highest power rifles and expensive FNs and, uh, FNs and SIGs and shit. Drums on them, clips hanging out the motherfuckers. And these motherfuckers right now, both three of them together can't get a pack of Raymond noodles and some hot sauce. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. This is fucked up out here. We They got us fucked up, dog. And us robbing each other ain't going to get it. It's not. Like, what the fuck you going to rob another poor motherfucker from? Like, you know how many, you know how, how, how the fuck does that matter? Nigga try to not leave the hood and try to be where you come. But this white man said this, and it made a lot of sense, right? This white man said this on his um, TV show. It was like, you know, the racists. I watched this young dude. He goes to, like, the racist towns in America, right? Funny-ass white man. He said, would you live next to a black people? Would you mind a black person, some shit, living next to you? He said, why the fuck would I want to live next to a black person when a black person don't want to live next to a black person? I said, damn, you know, that shit hurt, but it was deep in the motherfucker. Like, why would I want to live next to a fucking nigga? And he, he don't want to live next to himself. He moving out the hood. That's the thing. We, You know what I'm saying? We got all this nice shit that we live in, but because of us, we got to move away from us. Is that fucking retarded, though? Detroit got all these beautiful, man, the, man, we Detroit is the shit, bro. I used to always want to go to another city or state and leave, but nigga, Detroit is, I'm so proud of my city the way it's going, but the problem is we're not going to be able to afford it because they making it so we can't afford it. They are, they are strategic, even the Mexicans, they doing the same thing the white people doing. They don't give a fuck what they got to pay for a house because they're building a community. They don't care about paying you two, three times more with your house go because they not going nowhere. So, okay, you want $100,000 for this $20,000 house? <clears throat> get Paco, go get the bag out the car. Give me the title to this moment. Because they going to make their prices. Once they get it, now it's going to cost you two fifty three. dollars you know, if you ever want to come back. <clears throat> they not selling. You go over here to Mexican town. Every building up Mexican town is owned by Mexicans. Do you think a black person can go down there and open up a building? I've never seen it. I'm not saying it can't be done, but you're going to have some fucking problems, my dog. You know what I'm saying? But they anybody can come open them anything they want to right here by us, right here by me right now. They, you don't care who it is. A white person right now, Keldin, an Arab dude, they come put a dispensary, a liquor store right in your, right here. And you selling weed right up the block. Now they put a dispensary on the corner. What's going to happen to him? Nothing. Listen, this is the thing. Uh, Arab right now, Kel did put a dispensary right fucking here. Take all your customers because now he got cheaper prices, right? You on the street trying to sell weed. This motherfucker got a goddamn dispensary that you can just walk in and come in. He taking all your customers, the niggas on the other side of the hood, customers. And what's going to happen to him? Ain't shit going to happen to him. He going to come on every day, walk to his car, go home to his million dollar house, bins and boat in the driveway. And come back the next day and cuss niggas out, kick them all in the ass, tell them they ain't shit and don't come back. You know what I'm saying? That's what's exactly what's going to happen. 
But let another black man open up any motherfucking thing. They be knocking, taking sludge hammers, knocking holes in it, trying to break in it, going through the roof. You know what I'm saying? They'll fuck around, nigga, and kill you coming out that motherfucker. You let you, like if I'm black and I'm not from that, so I go over on Joy Road or I go off over on Dexter somewhere where I'm not from and, and open up some shit in their hood. It's going to be an automatic problem off the rip. But if I'm from another nationality, they gonna talk with that nigga with so much respect. And that's a shame, man. That's fucked up, man. Well, I just got up this morning and just wanna talk. I heard about that Pimp C shit. I know I done went all around the world and shit, but hey, it is what it is, man. If y'all like the shit that I be talking, whether you agree with it, disagree with it, if you, you know what I'm saying, you like it, share that shit for me. Um, hit that like and that subscribe button. Oh, oh, yeah, it's another thing. I know y'all can't see it, but behind me, see, we buy where a lot of Arabic's at, right? A lot of Muslims and shit. So they got the flag flying. You know, they flying a lot of flags for the Palestinian people. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know the difference in this shit. The Palestinian and the, uh, what the Jews, what's that shit? Jerusalem, whatever they just bomb. Um, Israel. You know what I'm saying? So I don't, I don't know, you know, I don't know what's going on. But I know we don't supposed to be the fuck over there. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, I, I hate what's going on with them people, man, but that's their beef. You understand what I'm saying? It, that's they, their beef, man. It's just that, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I I, I just don't know. I, Cause my feelings on this, like, okay, yeah, they do if they need help, but I'm pretty sure they got other allies, other people that they friends with that can help them. Why we gotta always get in somebody else's shit? You know what I'm saying? And the only reason this motherfucker doing it cause election time coming up. You know what I'm saying? You don't really give a fuck about them people, man. Come on, cut it out, man. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's a dirty world, man. But I'm uh, Top Talk Blue.